one way to en enhance your blog a little bit and get your visitors to read more of your post is a plugin called Related Post. And what it does is when someone is browsing one of your posts you made, at the bottom, it's going to have a list of other posts you've made that are related to that same post. These could be posts in the same category, posts with the same keyword, things like that. And it really helps because if someone reads your post and they like that post, at the bottom they're more likely to see another post that they might enjoy and they'll click on that post as well. So it's a way to keep visitors on your website, keep them engaged and reading more of your post. So we're going to head over to plugins and add new. And it's called related post, just like that. So I'm going to search plugins and find that. Install it. Okay, we're going to activate it. Now at the top here, we have a, a pop-up here with the turn on option, the turn on related post. So we're going to turn that on. And there we go. Now you can see on the left hand side here, we have a button now for related posts so we can keep track of our stats. The desktop here, they keep track of our click through rates for us on the related posts so we can see if the plugin is actually working or not, if we're actually having people click through. Okay, browsing down a little bit for the basic settings. How many related posts do you want to show? Right now it's at six for the default. And you can give it a title, we'll leave it at related post. And then here you can choose how you would like the related post to be shown. By clicking through, you can see the difference between these. I think we'll go with the modern one. Same thing for mobile phones. It has a different, op different options here. We'll go with the modern as well. Down a little bit further, you can exclude to show any certain categories from the related post. If you have a category or post that you don't want to be shown, you can put them inside of a category and mark that category so they never show as a related post. You want to make sure you have this check marked to auto insert related post. You can display related posts in a feed. You can turn your statistics on or off. And you can choose to su support them by showing their logo or not. Then they click on save changes. Now let's go to a post and see if we can see any related post or not. Okay, here I am on my fighting game 101 tutorial post where I upload my image. And when I scroll down, you're going to see I have two related posts. My first blog post and my second post. And then they can click through to that. And then you'll see my other two related posts as well. Cool, right? And you can even edit these related posts. Not bad, right? It's just a basic enhancement. Like I said, it keeps the users engaged in your website. keeps them reading more. And a pretty cool plugin that you guys can add to your WordPress blog. Now in today's world, as you know, everything is all about sharing. People share everything on Facebook, they share it on Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, LinkedIn, everything. People are sharing everything they like. No matter what it is, they share it. So it would only make sense that you make it easy for them to share your blog post and your pages and everything on your site, you make it easy for them to share it with their friends if they wanted to. And that's exactly what we're going to do and enhance our site. I installed a plugin called Shareaholic, as you can see here. And I will have a link to this on the right side of this video. And we, have, we get a setting down here called Shareaholic. We're going to click on that. And basically, what I use this plugin for, I use it for the sexy bookmarks, as you can see here. Okay? So I'm going to click on Settings. Now we can choose what options we want to allow for them to share. By default, we have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, StumbleUpon, and some more. But you can see all the different options that we have here. Okay, we have plenty of options that go further and further. Reddit, I like to use Reddit a lot. Just like that, right? And then you can even rearrange these like this, okay? Pretty cool, right? Where's my? What happened to my Reddit? There it is. Bring my Reddit up here. Put it in front. Okay, pretty cool. So that means these buttons are going to be on each page and each post, and they can simply just click the button and share it to whatever they clicked on, okay? So make sure you have these check marked as yes. Let's go down here. Let me save this at the very bottom here. Save. Now let me go to a page and refresh my blog page and see if these buttons are going to be on there or not. Okay, let's scroll down here and take a look. And here we are. Under our related post, we now have our sharing options. 
It says sharing is caring and it has our different options that we selected in the settings. That's pretty neat, right? A nice animation effect to it. Pretty cool. So now if someone likes your blog post, they can simply just click on one of these, whichever one they like, whichever one they use the most, they just click on it and they're going to be able to share it to whatever network they select. That's pretty neat, right? And then that'll share your blog post. Pretty cool, right? This is a great way to get extra traffic and have that, you know, that word of mouth effect. And if we go back to the settings here, we can actually customize some of these settings the way it looks. Like I said, you can choose what network, what sites you want to use here. You can add additional buttons here, like a plus one button, a Facebook send button. You might like those. Let's throw those in there. It looks like these right here. And you can actually use just these if you wanted to. It's a way to customize it. Let's see, functionality settings, your Twitter options. You can change the button right now, the image. Right now it says sharing is caring. You can change that. Let's see. Let's share the knowledge. Let's try that one. And some more settings. Let's save that and see how that looks with my new image and my new... And I added that Facebook like button. Let's see how those look now. Let's refresh that. All right. And as we can see, we now have the new image, share, share the knowledge, and we have the like button and the tweet button. Pretty cool, right? So it's just a, a cool little enhancement you can use. Um, it really brings the social media presence to your blog and makes it really easy for your fans and your readers to share the great news that you're sharing. Now, when it comes to creating your posts and pages, obviously you want them to look the best that they can possibly look. You want the font to look great. You want your images to look great. You want to be able to easily insert images and videos, and you just want everything to look good. Right? Right. Well, in our editor here, this is your basic setup you have here. You click this button, this little drop down here. Yeah, we can bold our text. We can change the color. We can center our text. But it's, this is really just lacking, okay? We should have a lot more options. And that's where another plugin comes in that makes this look so much better. And it's just the ultimate editing system that we can have to make our post look the best, okay? So let's go ahead and install this plugin here. I have a link to this plugin to the right of this video called Ultimate Tiny MCE. Okay? Let's install that and let's see exactly what it does to our editor and we'll see what it looks like. Let's activate that. All right. If you want, it can give you a tour of it. We're going to close that. And then we're going to click on the option that it gave us, the Ultimate Tiny MCE option, okay? Now when we get here, you see all the options we have here. We can enable any of these to show up in our editor now. The font family, you can en enable that. You can en enable the font size. And you can choose which row. You, you can have up to four rows of options, okay? You can cut, copy, paste, all kinds of these different options. Let's scroll through here and see what we got. Easy image button. Let's try that one out. The smiley faces, always like the smiley faces. Let's add that. Advanced image button, a preview button. HTML buttons, that's all that's great for adding like AdSense codes and things. Add those. A media button, a YouTube button. All these different options we can add. So let's try that. We just added a few of those. Let's update our options here. Now let's go to our post and edit our post. And as you can see, we now have these options over here. That's pretty neat, right? Let's see how they, let's see how they work. Make sure they work okay. Let's say I want to add a smiley face. Let's click on that. And look at that. We get all these different smiley faces that we can add to our post. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? What about a YouTube video? Look, all, all it requests is you put the link in there. And you can insert it automatically. No HTML needed. Autoplay, yes or no. Watching HD, yes or no. That's pretty awesome. What about the other YouTube button here? We have two different options here. Again, they want the URL code and what size you would like it. Pretty simple. Makes everything simple. Let's try the image button. Insert an image. There you go. Instead of uploading it, you just insert the image URL. If the image is hosted on a different website, you can insert the URL there. You can change the appearance of it. Advanced settings for it. And let's not forget we added the font size and the font family. 
all these different fonts now. Before, you couldn't really change the font. Now we can. And we can change the font size. Pretty cool, right? You've seen all the different options we had. This is a great enhancement, especially if you're making a lot of posts and a lot of pages. You really want to customize each post to really be its own unique post. You definitely need this plugin. Get the link on the right-hand side, install it, and then add all these enhancements to your editor.